You need to get real good at that. And I'm about to tell you why. All right, show of hands. How many people out there work on your jazz swing on a regular basis? Three, four, seven, nine people. That's it? Listen, you need to do better than that, man. All right? There's a very specific reason why you want to be able to master the jazz swing. All right? Now, let me just be clear on something. I didn't say that you need to master jazz. I said you need to master the jazz swing. Okay? The two are the same thing, but at the same time, they're completely different. One is a genre, and one is a feel. Now, I'm hoping by the end of this video, by the time you finish watching it, you'll be 100% convinced that you need to sharpen up and master your jazz swing. Now, whenever we go to play any type of groove on a drum kit, regardless of what it is, every single groove on the planet is going to fall under one or two categories in terms of feel, all right? It's either going to be straight or it's going to swing. So it's either going to roll or it's going to bounce, all right? Any groove that's not 100% straight is going to have some degree of swing to it. And swing grooves, anything that swings, it's particularly a little bit harder to get swing grooves to feel good. I mean, when you think about it, you know, the first time you sit around a set of drums for the first time, you're not going to play a shuffle. Now, any type of groove that swings is based off of the triplet. So hip-hop grooves, you know, any kind of shuffles, blue shuffles, Texas shuffles, country shuffles, any kind of shuffles, Reggae grooves, like all, all different types of grooves out there. As long as it swings, the foundation is the triplet. All right? So if you take all these grooves and you trace its ancestry all the way back to the beginning, you're going to find the swing beat. The swing beat is the godfather of all things triplet. So if you master the jazz swing okay, you're basically going to be able to eventually get anything that swings, any type of groove at all, to feel good. Now, like I was saying before, if the groove that you're playing is not 100% straight, there's going to have some degree of swing to it, whether it's this big or this big, right? So, you know, when, you, when you're able to play your jazz swing, one of the most important parts about um, mastering your jazz swing is learning how to adjust the degree of swing because you can play a nice wide loose one or you can really tighten it up but it's all the same swing beat now I'm of course not talking about the swing beat in the literal sense all right I'm talking about movement I'm talking about the feel itself the best way to practice your triplet feel on anything is to play the swing beat. Dang, dang, da dang, dang, da dang, dang, da dang. Now, this is what's gonna separate you from the hacks on the planet, okay? It's how you apply this mentally to anything that you play that swings. Basically, what you're gonna do is use the jazz swing as a sort of a rhythmic template to help you create the feel for whatever groove it is that you're trying to play. So whenever I kick into any type of groove where I have to sort of create a certain type of swing to it, I immediately start thinking about the spangling, that jazz swing. Dang, dang, da dang, dang, da dang, dang, da dang. I can adjust that to be as tight or as loose as I want, but that movement is gonna be my blank template that I use to drop my notes on top of. And then from there, you know, I can, I can make it feel however I want it to feel. Now I'm gonna play you a whole bunch of examples here just to demonstrate 
what I'm talking about. So sit back, check these out. Before you listen to them or while you listen to them, get that jazz swing in your head. Like just picture thing, thing, da ding, thing, da ding, thing, da ding, thing, da ding. Just for a couple of seconds, all right? And then play all of these grooves and let me know if you can hear the swing in all of these grooves. The reason why it's important that you practice swinging on a regular basis and eventually just, you know, mastering the, the swing feel on the ride cymbal is because it's going to allow you to play any triplet bass groove from the ground up, right? From its foundation, as opposed to just hearing a cool groove that Chris Dave played and trying to copy it from the surface, right? It's just not 
going to be the same thing. It's one thing to, to physically be able to play a groove. It's an entirely different thing to get it to feel good. Now, I mentioned off the top that I wasn't necessarily talking about mastering jazz music, like as a genre, um, because we're focusing on the feel here. But truth is, man, the best way to practice this type of thing is to play a lot of jazz. Play a lot of swing jazz, a lot of bebop, that kind of thing. That's really going to help you sharpen up and, and hone that particular skill so that you can apply it to everything else. And then, of course, the other reason is that, you know, you don't want to be that one drummer that finds himself in a situation where you have to play a swing beat, even if it's just for a few bars in the middle of a song, and you launch into it and it sounds like hot butt juice. So there's a lot of benefits to playing jazz, obviously, but um, one of the most important ones is so you can develop that particular feel that you can carry over to hundreds of other grooves. Trust me on this, man. Mastering this feel can really make the difference between you stepping off the stage after the first set and having somebody walk up to you and saying, dude, that felt amazing. And bruh, we got to talk. So that's my free advice for the day, man. You can, of course, take it or leave it if you want. Hopefully you take it. Trust me, if you do, it's going to do you a whole lot of good. So, put practicing the swing on your priority list during this lockdown. And then you can thank me later for all the benefits. Thanks for watching this video. And for the benefit of those of y'all that did not know, there's a Spangalang shirt in the merch shop. I don't know if you saw it or not yet, but I got shirts and hoodies in there. Um, you can grab one during the sale. The sale is still on, still a couple of days left. You got until May 31st to grab yourself something at 15% off. Spring 2020, type that code in to check out 15% off your order. And that's it. I'm out. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. Share this video if you dig it. Drop a comment below. Like. Subscribe. See you next video.